Hey, we're out here, uh, my track in the high desert of uh, Adelanto, California. And uh, we're just gonna be doing a little bit of supercross riding today and we've got a big crew out here, so it's gonna be super fun. And then uh, after that, we'll probably go get some lunch and uh, head to the gym. You just doing a 10 minute warm up? tight out there. I don't know if it's just cold or hard on tight. My bar's in the normal spot. Uh, the bike kind of rigid today. Yeah. It's fresh, huh? Yeah. Is that a new frame? Fresh. Huh? Is it a new frame? No. I did. It's a new seat though, huh? No, new seat cover. New seat cover? Yeah. That's way stupid. I did, I did all your linkage and stuff, so. Yeah. That first one was good. Kind of just take like a 10 minute warm up, get used to the track, figure out where the good lines are, where the dry lines are. Um, just figure out what, what rhythms are going to be good for the day. Uh, start to break in some lines. Um, he hit the whoop, so that's good. Um, that was good. He looks good. So as the day goes on, we'll get faster and track will break in and be, be nice. But other than that, it should be good. So you have to qualify for the main, you get two points, and you need six. So you have to make the main three times. And you get three points if you top five in the main. Yeah. I think I should do like Dallas. We'll still go to St. Louis. Dallas is cool. I want to go somewhere I haven't been yet. Yeah, yeah. But it's also hard to do that. Uh, 143. Sorry, I said I'm overweight right now. You're overweight? Yeah. For sure. Oh, that's, the, that's the highest I've ever been. Oh yeah, for sure overweight. I got a gut going. I, I was like 130 at Loretta's. I got my tonsils out, went down to like 126. Bruh. Yeah. Put on the LBs though, dude. I've been drinking straight protein water. That's it. Check it. Protein water, 20 grams. Barologies. Are you trying to get like bigger? Yeah. I need to be like 155. Uh, for him to be riding with these guys is is gnarly. It's I mean these are some of the best guys to race right now. So it's good for him to get out there and mix it up with these guys to get that experience and, and help him uh, improve with his uh, his riding. So I think it'll be good. Track's gnarly. Yeah. A lot of good guys. Good lines. I'm trying to get my feet on the bike a little bit. Yeah. And the turns? Yeah. Are you able to come into this turn and just, instead of like, kind of like chopping on the throttle and then getting right back onto it to go through it? Are you able to keep it and kind of just setting it? Because I think that like, kind of like let off, get to that apex and then go again. I think holding onto it a little more would set you up a little better. I feel good, I feel comfortable on it. I, I don't feel like I'm getting too sketchy. I might not be the fastest, but uh, I'm not like all over the place. I, I'm pretty uh, smooth, so I'm happy with that. My whips uh, got a lot better, steady throttle through those things. They're uh, chewed up for sure, so I'm happy I, I'm getting through those safely for sure. But uh, didn't didn't have a crash today, so that was good. I, I feel like everybody crashed here. Just because it was slippery, I didn't try to cut under some of the big bumps and ruts and stuff and you slide out, but no crashes for me today. No tip overs, nothing. Bike worked really good. Matty G was looking good out there, so yeah, it was a good day. Probably only be like an hour, but it's pretty standard. It's all, it all, every workout starts off with the same with like the the bands on the ankles, and I do my walk, and then the, the goblet squats, and so it's a uh, it's good. It's all uh, pretty routine nowadays with the bench and everything. So I don't know. I I listen to whatever. Like there's certain country songs I really like. There's certain rock songs I really like. I would say I mostly listen to like hip hop and stuff like that. It's kind of 
easy to be in that mood to listen to that, I feel like. But um, if there's a good song, it's good. Juice World is number one, though. I've Ever since I signed with this team, I've pretty much been down here, like, full time. Like, when I got that apartment, I stayed there, like, weekdays and then go home on the weekends. And then pretty much once I got my license, I was, like, down here all the time. And then I bought a house last year in Lake House North, and then I just live there full time now. So when I was little, like 11 or 12, I was like, man, I go to the track one day and I go to the gym the next day. I was like, man, like I'm grinding. <laughs> but then when I signed with this team, obviously, like you, you really just get to see like oh, what it's all about. And uh, you learn pretty quickly, like, oh, I, was, I wasn't doing enough. <laughs> Yeah, I just, uh, after the trek, got some lunch at Chipotle, then uh, drove down to the Geico Honda shop and got in their gym and uh, got a good workout in. So uh, now just back home and gonna kick my feet up on the couch and get ready for tomorrow.